Hi, welcome to Lifestyle Matters. I'm Matt Schultz. Joining us today are two very important people from a very important community partner. Please help me welcome Terry McDonald and Bethany Cartledge from St. Vincent de Paul. Hi. Hi. We're good morning. Happy to be here. It's so good to have you, and it's great to talk with you because there's a lot going on. Let's start off today by talking about the history of St. Vinny's. Sure. So the company was incorporated in 1955. Uh, actually, started a business a couple of years before that, uh, and it was very much a traditional organization where it had a couple little thrift stores, had a bunch of volunteers that did very good things in the community. Uh, but during the 1980s, it really dramatically changed. And that was a result of the profound recession that we had in our community. As we all know, it was a very difficult time during the 80s as the timber industry basically went away. And as a result of that, the emergency services needs of our community and the housing needs changed very dramatically. So the board and the staff of St. Vincent Paul got together at that point and said, we need to address this as a community, not just as one agency, but as a larger community. And that really launched us into the development of affordable housing, which we have about 1,600 units now. Uh, to, uh, got us into the emergency services programs, especially now if we're dealing with the homeless, uh, but also permanent jobs and uh, job creation that came as a result of our waste-based businesses. Waste-based businesses meaning things that we throw away, both usable and non-usable, whether it's appliances or furniture or box rings and mattresses, which we are recycling those as well. Uh, those waste-based businesses create a sustainable bedrock of this organization that leads us to the expansion that we've had over the years that has allowed us to become a really an anchor institution in the community, which leads us, of course, into the future. Yes, there's so much going on now. Bethany, you're taking sort of a five and five approach. Talk, let's talk, let's yeah. talk about that. Um, as, as Terry was talking about, we have a really rich history within the community. And so one of the things we were wanting to do with this evening is to highlight the last five decades and what that has looked like within the community and also look at the next five years. Um, one of the things that we're seeing um, within the, the community and the organization is a, a shift in people accessing services. So within our homeless and emergency services, we're seeing a lot more seniors and um, individuals with disabilities. So we're constantly reimagining how do we best support the, the program participants? How do, we, how do we make the necessary changes to um, best support the vulnerable in the community? Great, and that's leading to a lot of changes. And and the uh, the the event you mentioned just a moment ago is uh, something we we're going to talk about next, and that is called an evening to envision. So let's talk about that for a moment too. Uh, the evening to envision event. Yeah, we're really excited about it. We had actually wanted to do this event in 2021 to offer uh, to recognize 50 years of service and. As uh, with all organizations kind of going through the pandemic, we decided this was not a good idea to, to do a large in-person event. So right. this is the first in-person event that we've been that we've done since 2019. So it's a look back of five decades worth of uh, work within the community and kind of a look forward to um, what do we plan to do in the next five years? That's so great. And if you're not able to make it to the event, you still can help and be a partner with St. Vinny's. Let's talk about some of the ways that people might be able to still get involved. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the good thing about St. Vinny's is that we really work closely with those in the community, whether it's other partner nonprofits or um, just individuals who are interested in being of service. So everything that we've done in the last five decades has been um, accomplished through community partnerships. So one of the ways that people are able to continue to support us is volunteering. We have individuals who help us with meals at our family shelter. Uh, they help with research or grant writing. Uh, we also have a lot of individuals who bring us just their material stuff, pulling materials that we're able to sell in the stores that help us to generate the revenue to do the social services. And then of course, the, the financial donors who help us to respond nimbly to community needs. That's great. Well, if you're not able to make it to the event, you can still help. Terry, Bethany, thank you so much for being with us today, talking about all the great things at St. Vincent de Paul. It's all the time we have this week, but we will talk to you next time. Look forward to joining us again on Lifestyle Matters. Take care.